And this is just one of those things I find fascinating between like how people think about business versus how they think about investing. In the business world, leverage is the term that people really like, they're for, they want the leverage. But in yep. um, investing, or did I screw that up? Oh, sorry, in business, it's leverage. And in investing, it is the uh, compounding. Like everyone wants to put that penny in and see it double and double and double and double, uh, like the uh, Tony Robbins example does in his uh, program, Get the Edge. So I look at it and go like, if they both apply, but compounding, in my opinion, is the more powerful one. I think yeah. compounding to uh, the quote of the eighth wonder of the world. And I, I found, and I know we mentor and coach quite a few people, like I've actually found that this concept uh, when talking about are these things things that scale and compound as opposed to just trying to build leverage? Uh, doing the calculation for them over a long period of time makes the the business owners that I've been working with go, oh, shit, I've been thinking about this completely wrong way where it's completely transactional at the moment for how do I just make money, how do I make money versus how do I build something that can continue to grow based on what I'm putting into it. It really does shift the lens to like a longer term view, doesn't it? It like it really makes people think very differently. I um, had that same experience in a big way. When you're working with people, Grant, though, what is your finding that many people are just focused on short term cash as a strategy and there is no long term focus? I'm going to put a second layer on top of that tactic chasing as well. So there, so it's like, oh my gosh, I found this exploit. <laughs> and it's like, I'm like, I can totally like if I put white text on a white background, I can rank first in Google, right? And it's like, isn't it just better to build like this thing that just grows like a better strategy? You cannot go on a pedestal for putting white text <laughs> on a white page on Google for doing rankings. I know both of us did that <laughs> back in the day. Hey, 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 hey. No point in fingers here. Just put it out there. Are you Traffic. telling me SEO isn't white text on a white page writing plumber Melbourne, plumber Melbourne, plumber Melbourne, and then also paying someone on Fiverr to get as many backlinks as possible to plumber Melbourne, plumber Melbourne, plumber Melbourne? I don't think people will realize this. For anyone that wasn't in SEO, that is literally how you did SEO. Charlie, there are people that listen to this that used to be clients of mine and paid me good money for me to put white text on white background. So. Stop ruining my tactics. <laughs> that was the internet really has come a long way. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so the second layer I'll put on top of it is like tactic chasing, like, which is they know it. They're like, oh, well, for now, we will, I don't know, extract leads from a Facebook group because it's working now. And it's like, well, is that going to be the thing that actually works long term? Like, you know what's better? Having an offer that people want and they're just putting it in front of everybody. And so it's like, well, but then that compounds because then guess what, Charlie? You can come up with a second good offer that then compounds and then you've got two good offers as opposed to, well, this works really well now. Let's go feast. And then when it stops working, it's famine, right? And so it's like, well, just look at the things that continue to grow and compound and just absorb that. Put your time and effort into that. It might not be as sexy and as fanciful now, but shit, in five years' time, you're going to be grateful that you did it because everyone who didn't are sitting there going, feast and famine, feast and famine, feast and famine. Is this something you're going to bring into your planning next year is looking at this compounding element? already have, yep. <laughs> well, the interesting thing, you and I have been doing this for most of the year is just like refining how do we do the thing, which is how this podcast started was the basis of this compounding and continuing to grow. It was something that has become more prevalent in questions that I'm now asking of myself, uh, even in sort of other businesses as well. It was it was something that I kind of knew, but it wasn't so obvious as to why I was leaning towards something else, if that makes sense. So I was leaning towards going, hey, like if there's a tactic, let's ex exploit it. Or hey, if there's a way for me to generate more leverage, let's just generate the more leverage as opposed to going, well, does it compound as well? Like you, if you can have both, great. But it's almost like the first question should be like, does it compound? And the second one is like, does it leverage and can you grow from it? Um, it's just a reordering of question priority. But to answer your question to straight, 100%, like I've already applied it this year. Like this was a lesson probably six months ago and it's just been reaping the rewards as it continues. I think some people also have like a burning platform, right? And so I'm just going to make this, uh, tell this story more from the place of, 
uh, how you can engineer it financially from compounding. Because compounding can apply in different ways where you already mentioned brand as well. If you're in a business and let's say you know it's only going to be around for a year, you literally are chasing a tactic to produce cash today. And maybe you're selling a course on how to do your tax in 2022. And you know at the end of the year it's over, right? There's a, yep. there's a very strict deadline. There's no compounding thing, but you've got the ability to make money in this vehicle for one year. If you know that and you can go, cool, I'm going to pull the profits out of this and I'm going to invest it into something that does compound, that is or can become your way of compounding something. Like you can connect other elements to this idea as well, where if you were to purely focus on compounding in every area without the like cross collateralization of this concept, I think you miss out on even potentially bigger opportunities because that one year of like cash grab might be the thing that kickstarts your compounding in a way you never could have imagined. Hey, fellow business owner, if this topic and value-packed short video has resonated with you at all, and you want to dive deeper into creating wealth inside and outside your business, check out the full episode by clicking the link on your screen or in the description right now.